What's up, Trios Tribe? Bringing you guys another BT BT15 Regionals Top 16 uh, Super List on uh, featuring of EggmanEvents.com and featuring PlayTCG. Thanks, PlayTCG. Sorry. Thank you, PlayTCG, for hosting the event live in Texas. We don't get too many live uh, in-person regional events, so it's really cool to finally see one. Uh, especially, is this the first one of the year? This might be the first one of the year, which feels really bad uh that's not i don't know that's that's no one's fault in particular it's just the, how the world is right now um anyway we had 256 players meaning we were probably really close to the cap and just like didn't fill in the wait list or something quite enough or people dropped but i'm pretty sure the cap was 256 and player caps have just been going down for whatever reason it's just how it is um another just kind of fact of life about being in the digimon card game even though the events are still selling out i just i don't see why maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe events weren't selling out at 500 but seeing lower player caps just just feels so bad i don't know anyway seven rounds numamon x ends up taking it we're gonna try to be a little fast this time because um i'm doing this the the night before my flight in a vacation so i know i, I love to try to give everybody their their two seconds and i will try to do that but I got a vacation to get to. It's already late. It's this the 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 data came in a little early or a little a little later than I anticipated considering my vacation. So let's go into it. Three security control, three red hybrid, two Numamon X, two Lugumon, one Belfamon, which is very interesting. One Bunny's deck. So these two are very nice to see kind of pop up. Levimon X seeing a fall from grace. Uh Two tournaments in a row going from you know one of the most represented decks in the top 16 to only one mirage kind of kind of still at the normal spot it's like one or two um but still seeing it perform deva also falling from grace if you had asked me yesterday i would have said deva's in contention for top three best decks of the format and then suddenly it's back down to here it's like wow whew, where did i go wrong <laughs> And then one armor list. It's always fun to see armor, especially with the, the one or two cards they keep getting every set. Um, it's pretty good. Um, let's go into the decks. I'll, I'll tr I'm, I'm going to try to give everybody time, but I also got to be fast. Vimon. Vimon is interesting. Vimon Armor Rush. This is basically just Magnemon Armor Rush. This is like the precursor of what we're going to be experiencing in BT come BT16 with the new mag triple color Magnemon X antibody. It's going to be a very interesting card going heavy on the death x mons three death x mon and actually playing one of the golden awakening of the golden knight personally i want to be playing more of this card but it's just people haven't been playing it and we're seeing a lot uh, and it's, it's a good card being immune to dp reduction it's just it's just good uh it's it's it sucks to see that the card isn't doing uh isn't you know performing in people's minds as as well as as you know you would think um yeah and then we're playing the the new security magnamon such a good card it's, the security effect is insane really makes people quite question a uh, rogue vmon on board could suddenly become a magnamon and it's it's just so powerful the uh, selective source stripping and then being able to do things it's just so good and we see a heavy movie promo package we're seeing the promo vmon which you know everyone's talking about how expensive ukumon's getting this vmon's gonna be the next thing and davis is not far off um all, all four, we're seeing all four of the movie cards here and they're all gonna be kind of vibing pretty good. Um, playing the jamming Vimon is probably the most interesting part of the rookie lineup. Uh, just not max. I would personally feel like you would want to max out on searching Vimon's, but I eh, guess not. Um, and one of the best green tamer of the game, Moda, Davis Modamia, why not? And playing five, a full, a full five digi bubbles. Interesting. I guess with Ukamon and and just kind of rushing down your opponent, you just end up and and the Ruiz, 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 whatever. Um, you tend to see, um, you just tend to see a need for, you just tend to see a need for uh, five five digi bubbles. So we're gonna go into the next deck here in a second. Uh, yeah, next deck. Oh, this is still armor. Oh, I clicked it twice. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, Lugamon. We're gonna see double Lugamon. Uh, interesting things here. Definitely the Drachmon. Um, Drachmon, while it's not a dark animal and doesn't kind of work, the, the search effect is kind of like hit or miss for me. Um, the Inheritables, the really where this card shines. The Inheritable sometimes just allows you to make plays that you wouldn't have been able to otherwise. Being just being able to just straight digivolve off of a card in the trash sometimes is just kind of ludicrous <laughs> um but after that fangmon gotta see fangmon and we're cutting this lugarmon which is interesting so we can play a full more toolboxy suite of our level fours playing two black ottoman ubers 
Um, you know, being able to control your opponent's uh, graveyard in any kind of way is starting to become more relevant. And Uber, you, you have to you play it at two because you have to see at least one. So we got to get there. And then we made the necessary cuts, like cutting level six feels wrong, feels so. Ugh. But I mean, you gotta you gotta cut somewhere to make room for a lot of this stuff. Only eight rookies is a madman. Um, Grats on thirteenth. Um, sorry, I, I wish I could talk about it more um anthony anthony 12th place also lugamon playing the Groudmon for the extra check and power um that's possible w what i found really interesting about this list is psychmon like i really wanted I, re I love it when you guys talk in the comments like you top you, you topping players when you guys give me those giant paragraphs of why you did stuff in the tournament so cool to me so love that i would love to hear from you if you thought psychmon was even worth it <laughs> um that that's just all i want to know a gazimon i feel like probably came up playing the Gobblemon is interesting the inheritable kind of lets you digivolve with baumon uh and i've been saying it over and again oh, been saying it over and over again about this Gabumon and the adjacent agumon just start a main effect uh gain one memory kind of sick uh and then the really interesting part is we're playing the server Mon cerberus mon x i think in one of the previous videos i mentioned how one of them was playing the protoform and since all the lugarmons are x antibodies this protoform is like always live adding a cerberus mon to the mix kind of interesting i mean uh, being able to play a le any level three so you can kind of play a floodgate out of nowhere is really cool. Um, also, you get to play, essentially get to still play something and then have ground one effect. You get to play something and then draw one trash one. So it actually, actually can, you can go into Fenrir straight up. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, it's it, it also procs your inheritables. So like you get to digivolve it for cheap. I mean, it, it's an interesting card. I, I wonder, I wonder, I, I, I feel like there's something I'm, I'm like talking about and I feel like I'm missing like a key fact about what makes this card so good in the deck. It's also another form of unsuspension. Maybe Chimeramon makes this, takes this card to the next level too. So you can get like double here. I don't know. There's so many ways this could go, but I don't know. I don't know. Please, again, comment section, please. If you're the, if you're Anthony and, and you want to tell me why, what this Cerberus Mon was doing for you, I can kind of see it, but I don't want to get into it for the video. So I would love to see that in the comments. Oh, oh, Davis, man, do I love Davis. Interesting part of this Davis list is actually running the Demi Maramon from BT15 on deletion by trashing one level five or higher. Digimon card in your hand draw two allows you to see all your pieces because all your pieces are level fives. And then we're going to facilitate with an Ukamon who's white that lets us play our play our options that are also white without a dave on board the only risk obviously is that playing a deva you're kind of minimizing the effectiveness of playing deva in the back when you play deva in the front like like that whole play effect to play back here you miss out on that sometimes i wonder if that's kind of bad but anyway Oh, da, 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 da. playing three momijis playing one isuzu playing one ayame one oh, sorry hero playing one hero playing one hattori playing one uh what's this guy's name again hot hot su hatsu hatsu sara so i forget i forget his name hatsu haru hatsu haru i think who who doesn't remember you who doesn't remember yuki kurino um sugure sugure uh rit su playing three of the bird playing four of the dragon playing one of the turtle and cutting out the tiger completely What's, what's wrong with what's wrong with tiger man that's my favorite beyblade how could you um playing two of the uh, mega gargamon we are playing so we are so heavy on the black and green versions of the level fives that it just makes sense to run this card and then on top of that we get a merciful mon on top of it to just kind of like just get an extra security check clear some extra bodies just kind of be nasty with it um kind of clean it's probably for the mirror match is one of the biggest things this card does for you and leviamon oh my god there's just so many things this card hits right now it's so good for the boss monster for the options only one genai but i mean we kind of had to make room i guess with the uko and stuff so we got to cut somewhere sorry genai for analog youth because it just does everything we want it to be doing in this deck uh yeah grats on 11th wish i could kind of go into it more but i'm gonna keep saying that and you're gonna keep loving it but i did like the meme though 
Uh, Mirage. Mirage is a deck that'll continuously be topping. It's just the better Ult Force. It does the, everything Ult Force wants to do, but with less pieces. Uh, the Betamon has been great for this deck, jamming uh, anything of note. I still think it's weird that they're on the Lanamon. I feel like more people want to be on the Kori Kakumon, so you can kind of swing over Ruin mode for that extra like funniness. Um, interesting. We're playing the Madoki Betamon for memory blockage. Also, you know, interesting take. Um... The level five suite is usually where we see the most innovation or changes. Uh, only two Zudamon where we we started seeing. I started we in the previous events we saw we saw a rise of Zudamon Ace, so seeing less is interesting. Uh, Arrow Vidramon from the star deck, which this card's gonna keep popping up, being uh, for mostly exclusively for the inheritable. Your turn when you have eight or more cards in your hand, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. Suddenly your Mirage Galgamons are swinging for double the checks i mean you miss out on one unsuspend theoretically but double the checks is just way more than what you want four of the good mirage and you know we're seeing like we saw a rise of the bt4 uh mirage galgamon uh we first like at least for me since coverage started uh we saw ben from hyper coliseum do really well with it kind of explained that it was kind of just a fifth version of this mirage galgamon without the draw your security effect Part of it or bouncing your thing part of it um but still just like getting being able to get that memory back it just kind of lets you be the same turbo at all times but we're seeing return i guess we're with some of the uh rise of security controls you guys can see um from the from the list over here yeah the rise of security control um oh uh, just evades a good evades good right like it's a really good keyword it protects our digimon and it does things and this this is one of our few ways to actually get our tamers out there as we can see we're playing a 3-3 split of our tamer playing four uh digi bubbles trying to up our chances of seeing the bukamon early but i feel like we don't need to and we're gonna need to less in the future especially with uh the new galmon that's gonna be able to give you inheritable jamming which is kind of sick uh grats on eighth wish i could talk more all right, time to do time to shotgun all the hybrids. Uh, uh, 11, 11 champions always feels low to me, but it always works for people. And then the same, this rookie count tends to be really the most standard thing possible. Not playing a bonus level four, level five, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, I feel like this deck loses. Like the thing about the the red hybrid is, it, it has such a high potential to high roll you. But it also has such a potential to low roll in terms of like how many tamers are in security. Did I see level five? I just flooded on options. There's so many ways to lose with this deck that isn't due to your like player skill, and it just feels meh. Ugh. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel about this list. Uh, just I, we just up these options a little bit too, and uh, let's see how it differs from the other ones. Uh, actually, playing uh, an, a bonus level five playing uh the same uh, we cut an ukumon so we can fit the bonus level five and then we're playing trident gaia which is just a security bomb which probably caught catches people off guard more often than not um what did we oh we cut a crimson blaze to add a trident gaia uh the only thing about trident gaia is it's expensive eight eight costs for for if it's in your hands i mean sometimes it's worth but other times it can i mean with the rise of devas we're seeing the rise of removal options that's that's just a fact <laughs> uh last red hybrid uh seventh place oh what was the last place grats on ninth seventh place red hybrid adding a bukamon and at removing the bt4 uh flame on entirely for a floodgate is interesting um i mean with devas numimon you're just kind of trying to stop people from playing digimon period a leviamon right um playing actually even even less uh champions feels uh, but we're playing uh, death, one of Death X in place of one of the Crimson Blazes, which Death X is just a good card. I always, I often tell people that you're, you usually have to talk yourself out of putting a Death X in your deck rather than talk yourself into playing a Death X in your deck. So, um, not surprising to see Death X at one here. Uh, next deck, oh, grats on whatever place you got seventh. Grat, uh, oh, I X'd it out. Man, that's a bummer. Uh, sixth place, Leviamon, 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 Leviamon. Uh, playing the Godblumon package, we see it often. We see it sometimes they don't play it, sometimes we do play it. Playing an extra of this Leviamon is interesting. Playing six options, but instead we're going full on the Biting Crush and dropping the seventh lightnings. Makes sense. Biting Crush is just kind of the better removal. Um, interesting with the right well, i mean it feels like david didn't perform this format this this uh this tournament and so eh 
Uh, didn't really need to see it, but like this deck has an interesting matchup into Deva. And I feel like with the rise of Leviathan, the rise of Deva happened, and Deva kind of hit this deck to the ground. Well, not that's not that's not exactly right. The biggest interesting key point here is Bakemon. I don't I think this is the first list that I've covered on video um, with a Bakemon. Uh, it's a simple champion. When did you evolve on deletion? Draw one trash one. Um, and then has Retaliation Inheritable. I mean, re Retaliation is kind of an underrated uh, way to remove things. So, kind of good. Uh, yeah, I wish I could talk more. We're, uh, like, I should mention, like, we're in such a... We're still, like, we've, we're a few tournaments in now. And we're the meta is still so healthy. Or, oh, the format is still so healthy. Um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just been a healthy format since, like, BT13, it feels like. Like, we had that one hiccup with Apocalymon, and we're running it ever since. Playing the Bunnies deck. Grats on fifth place. Getting the Bunnies. I think you're the, this This is actually the most successful Bunnies deck we've seen. I don't care what people say about Terriermon. It's a bunny. He says Bunny Blast, or it says Bunny. They say Bunny Blast. Uh, interesting. Uh, just only playing eight champions it feels scary also the four level fives again red hybrid often loses to this fact but yeah only playing one lotmon poor lotmon it, it's kind of like the the red-headed stepchild of the the rookie lineups for a lot of these bunny decks um and then we're playing uh just a collection of top end good cards hidden potential discovered because it's a limited card because it's just that good uh, Fire Rocket tends to be a really interesting tech here. We do have the armors. You have to be at an armor to use Fire Rocket, but Fire Rocket can actually give anything this, or any two color Digimon the security plus one. So in theory, you could give it to your Death X or Mega Gargomon, which is an interesting theory. And then the, or deck building theory, I guess. Uh, and then the security effect to just delete one of your opponent's blockers is kind of sick too. Heaven's Judgment, because we can have a upwards of five different colors on board, which is always good. One green memory boost, th uh, four trainings, three of the bunny typhoons, because it's so good. We're seeing giant the rise of giant missile as well as the best green security bomb. Uh, one, Mimi Tachikawa, it's just a oldie buddy goodie, as I always like to say. Three Willis to just make your plays more efficient, and same with Henry Wong's uh, memory setter plus being able to suspend things when you digivolve into things is just kind of good. Uh, playing the full five digi bubbles, I, I guess with Mimi plus like how much you're just promoting rookies in this game, like you just want to see, you just want to make sure you always have that extra rookie or digi bubble, I should say. Um, next deck, uh, Belfamon. Uh, we haven't seen a Belfamon perform since like BT13 and. Key note here, playing one of the 6k Tamer hybrids for game. I like that. Being able to swing over room mode is really interesting. Now, the coolest part of this deck, I, that like, the other note is like, Gift of Darkness at one feels weird, but whatever. The coolest thing about this deck is this, this little trickery right here. The Ikumon and the, the Gizmon AT, like when I, like when I was thinking about it, like I started talking myself into liking this deck because just off of these two, just picture yourself, man, your, you, your first turn, I don't know, you play Ukamon in the back, you play Analog Youth, you do whatever the hell you want with that card. And then next turn you promote Ukamon Hatch and then you can Gizmon XT. That's sick. That That's so sick. I don't know. I like it. I think it's interesting. Um, Impmon to recycle, Impmon to be able to recycle on play, trash one of your, one card in your hand. If you do, return one card with seven to great demon lords, three musketeer trait from your trash to your hand. Being able to pick back up sleep modes is so important. And same with rage modes. I mean, maybe not rage mode, but you get my point. Being able to just loop a little bit seems really good. The Geomon from BT5 is interesting. I wonder how often this memory is really important to them. However, you know, the Vilemon, it's always fun to see uh, like some of the old cards come back, especially like Vilemon, like with the Astamon effect, you need, you want a blocker to come back and this is a good blocker. And playing the underrated Ogremon, this card I always feared back in BT6 or BT uh, Bonds format. Um, on play, trash one card in your hand, delete one of your opponent's Digimon, level four or lower. So you can just get people, especially with all the decks trying to like Numimon thing at you. Um, it makes sense, and I like it. Uh, Gratz, I'm playing the full suite of six Digi Bubbles, which makes sense because AT is kind of killing some of your Digi Bubbles. Ah, Gratz on fourth. I think that's like you're one of the most successful Belfamons in a while. So Gratz on that. This, this, this. I want to know if this, how cool this was. I want you to please tell me in the comments. Uh, all right, security control. I'm always going to say this at the beginning. I don't like security control. I don't think it's healthy for the game for security control to exist. I don't like playing against the deck. I think a lot, people tend to be disingenuous about like 
a lot about the deck. However, that being said, I can separate the player and the deck. I, I'm allowed to hate the deck as much as you're allowed to play the deck. So please don't take anything personal when I say that stuff. Um, I'm very much angled at, it's not your fault the cards work this way. And on top of that, you are a competitor and you brought the deck that thought you believed was going to win you the game or win you the day or win you the tournament, whatever, whatever way you want to word it. I do not fault you in any way. This isn't about you. This is about security control. <laughs> oh, please understand. So I don't like the deck, whatever, uh, fight it on the comments. I'm sorry. Uh, Salomon, I, I wish, I wish there was a world where I could like hand trap and give Salomon jamming. Cause this card is so terrifying. Magna Andromon, I had this BT1 Magna Andromon. I constantly have like, I, I'm starting to like start my own, um, what's it called uh, uh agenda against this card i feel like the further and the further we get into uh you know power creep and everything this is just gonna end up being one of those cards you often see in other games magic Yu Gi Oh, uh pokemon where like uh, unrestricted healing in this way is going to get it's going to get gross and it's going to get gross even even stronger as we go forward who would have guessed in bt in BT1, when this game came, when this card came out, that Flame Hell Cycle is going to be a card, for example. And it's only going to, there's only more cards starting to play level fives out of security, out of your hand. And like, I think Infernal Ascension has those cards. So Magna Angemon is going to be a problem. It's only going to get worse as a problem. And so putting this card to one, putting this card to zero might even, like, I do not, I would not be surprised that's a thing. Playing the Magnamon, a Magnamon Ace instead of Magna. And then Andrew Woman Ace is interesting. I thought I thought we were in a world where we were switching over to Andrew Woman. Guess not. It's fine. I mean, I, I'm not a security control player, but like I, I noticed the trend, and now we're reversing. I wonder what that why. You know, that's the that's the that's where I start thinking. Um, Venus Mon, uh, just the good top end Avenge Kid Mon, mandatory to go combo with Lamented Friendship. Shadow Seraphim Mon is just one of the best uh, level sixes for the deck. Death X Mon for you know board control, board clearing is just. Good. Um, for Holy Wave, this card is a pain as well. <laughs> um, Long Tea Distacto, along with four Chaos Degrades, they're, they're just the best removal options for a yellow purple security control. Um, reinforcing Memory Boost is that one for a reason. Wyvern's Breath is hard for any Digimon to be not only immune to DP reduction, but to be over 15k is very rare. <sighs> 1x program for like the craziness of the board clear that it's possible just being able if you're if there are four more digimon in play just delete everything activating your salamons kind of busted um one tk two two just the whole tax control package like you played the game so i'm gonna gain a ton of memory stuff down here digimon emperor is just a just a good card and i, I like the rise of digimon emperor is kind of funny to me uh we're gonna go into the second security control list where it's gonna see oh we're playing the digimon version of tk which is interesting pillowmon camp uh alternates players can't play digimon by effect we saw this get used a lot in nash or nats um by the second place player uh ends up winning worlds but this this pillowmon count like helped him have such an answer to leviathan plays that it was such a crucial card um actually tacking in one of the andromons but still andromons but still on more of magnamon magna andromon and then you know the bt1 one of course venusmon avenge kid with the lament of friendship shadow seraphia zulong it's Kind of surprising more people aren't on Azulong. I feel like it's a good card. I think it's under, I, like it's starting to get to the point where I feel like it's underrated. One Death X, Long Kid, two Revelation of Light. This is just a cool card. I I like this card, like from every design standpoint, this card feels like a good yellow card. And I feel like more people should be on it, especially with all the good Kairis that go along with it. Reinforcing Memory, Wymer's Breath, Hellscythe, Chaos Degrade. Tax control plus a memory setting Kari instead of TK makes sense to me. Playing the full suite of Digi Bubbles makes sense. You want to go infinite with the deck and you want to use all your rookies. And so you have five rookies, so you want to see all five. <laughs> uh, where am I? Uh, for the second place, uh, the grass on third, by the way. Uh, second place list playing more Pillowmons, playing uh, cutting the Angel Woman, playing one one less. The in most interesting thing here, I would say, is probably uh, one upping the Azulong one count along with the Gallimon count. Uh, 
you know, against security control, graveyards get pretty stacked and being able to play this card for free or very reduced cost being, and then with rush being able to use its effect twice in a single turn, deleting two different bodies on your opponent's board when they were probably trying to build wide to try to kill you in one turn as you have to for security control is what it is. Um, yeah, Gratz on second. So now let's go into, uh, I, again, I wish I could talk more about every list. I, I, you guys deserve it, but life. Numemon and Numemon, 15th place. Uh, playing the Agumon without the Agumon X, I I would love to know how good that was because this Agumon's insane. I like, you know, everyone loves the Gabumon and this is the same thing, right? Like the Inheritable is different, obviously, but it's a good card. Um, and then playing this, this Floodgate, you know, it makes sense. It's pretty, pretty normal. Just not seeing the Agumon is like a little weird. Playing a 4-2 ratio for the Numemon Digipolice things is, uh, I feel like weird. Uh, playing a, I could be wrong about that though. Playing uh, the standard level five package, playing one Venus, three Platinum Nume, playing a Shin Manzemon, I think is interesting. And then playing one of each of the level seven floodgates that we love to see. Um, the, the deck has access to all of them, so they play all of them. The Shin Manzemon is probably standing out to me, plus the Ruiz. I feel like people are dropping Rui and the Plural form more often than not. But yeah, I mean, you did well, 15th place. It got you your invite. Rats. And I can finally say that without being like corrected because we've been in a streak of non uh, NA events and NA is the only one with invites for some reason. <sighs> different, different video. Uh, playing a 3-3 split of the Satsukis is an interesting part of, me of here. Playing the God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, this is way more interesting than I thought. This is the purple package, Numemon. When I first got introduced to Numemon, it was the purple package. Um, and I was like, wow, this deck's great. And then suddenly the, the, the reign of the black package took over and then red package tried to be like, Hey, I'm here. And I'm like, I don't think you're good enough. And then it, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, playing the Gabumon, playing the Agumon, like they're both good cards. So if the Agumon's good and you get to play the Gabumon and just play a different bottom end package, sounds busted to me. Uh, and then playing Gabumon X, cause just being able to search your Monzemon X or your Numemon X or your Protoform sounds good to me. The interesting thing here, the most interesting thing here is Chimeramon, I'll get to, I'll get to that. Uh, Chimeramon, Chimeramon, I mean, uh, oftentimes you're getting with these level fours in this deck with the Satsuki, you're going to be able to attack with jamming, survive the swing, and then attack with a different level four. And most of your level four is float. So you're being able to float into another level four and then just Chimera go extra attack, busted. Not playing any of the crazy top end stuff that the other deck was, uh, this 15th place list, but playing four Omnimon Sword defeats, which, oh, that's painful. Oh my God, this, this is... Oh, this is, it won you the day. I want, I, w I hope, I hope you tracked how many Zord defeat triggers you hit. And then you tell me in the comments, because that is something I want to know. It was a seven round tournament, one proto form. So maybe I'm wrong about the decline of proto form in the decks, playing a full suite of five uh, Digi Bubbles, playing all the Demi Maramons, playing the one that trashes level five or higher. Is that right? What are you trashing? Defeats? Um, uh, Platinum new maze, maybe. It just feels, I feel like you wouldn't want to trash your, uh, uh, your Monze. It's like, I feel like you need every single one. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe there's some recursion. Some, there's probably some recursion I'm not thinking about. Oh, grass on first place, North American winner. You get, you got the, uh, I think it's the Machine Drum on Matt, right? Yeah. Grats on that, man. Uh, I try to avoid using names. Sorry. Cause I, I, I messed too many up anyway. Looks like we're in a very healthy format still. Very love to see. I think we've been in a healthy format since BT15 BT with a slight hiccup of a Pokemon, but we got that quickly snipped. <laughs> um, yeah, eggmanevents.com. If you're going to use our stuff, please. And I, please uh, just credit us a little bit. Leave a link, leave a like, leave a share, leave a subscribe. Um, I love being here. I love being, I love being, being able to do this for you guys. I love seeing in the comments the essays people give me about how their deck performed and getting to interact in that way with the community has been such a privilege and i i am genuinely uh blessed i don't want to say blessed but you you guys get where i'm going with that um i, I love to be a part of the situation that i'm in right now <laughs> um it's just great i don't i really uh, it's getting somber and i don't want it to be somber because i gotta be fast but uh but yeah the meta's been the, the format's been great um like share subscribe so you go oh uh this weekend is uh, an event. This weekend is a, a online. Uh, it's a core. It's a core TCG online event. BT15 uh, regional. 
please. Uh, I won't be able to do because I'm on vacation. But we got convinced. We convinced Kavinsky. We somehow uh, kidnapped Kavinsky TCG to to do it for me instead. Digipanda will have him taped to a chair for us, and he will be there for all potentially seven rounds, I believe. Um, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'll still try to get the list out and the video out as soon as possible for you guys on my vacation because I, I love doing it and I love doing it for you. Just respect my time and everything like that. But uh, like, share, subscribe. See you guys <sighs> next time. And I'm going to enjoy my vacation. Bye.